away from Trinidad wrapping the red, white, and black. He goes by the name Michael Tasha. Even if you don't know the name, which I doubt, you definitely know the list of music that he has produced and some that he has put out himself. I've already seen him on the live, so we're gonna dive straight in and get into all this music goodness. It's all about Caribbean entertainment, so be sure to share the live, head across our link in bio, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, check out what's trending this week in Caribbean entertainment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Caribbean Entertainment House. Finally! <laughs> uh, Fine. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I'm hearing you good. You hearing me good? Yes, I am hearing you clearly. So... It took a while, but we're here. We're here, we're chilling in the E-Hub. It's all about the E-Hub and Caribbean Entertainment Hub. So I want to tell you, firstly, take, um, thanks for taking time from your hectic schedule. Yo, I've been trying to get onto this guy all week, and he's been so busy, but when he's busy like that, we know there's a lot of good music coming. Could I, are you agreeing to that? We have new music coming. Most definitely, you know, every day, every day, I'm in the lab, cooking, you know, working on stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, so I can't keep up with you on these new releases, right? Because I still stuck on Flavor, and I think you drop about three tracks since Flavor. My, like, I can't keep count. I really, really can't keep count. Oh. Um, and not to be honest, three, is it? It has the one with um, Pretty. Right, right, right. That's um... right. And then um, the one that you recently dropped this week. Um... Time away. Right, and it has another one in between there. I know it have another one. But those stuff are more like collabs. So there is Jillian mm -hmm. and Orian from France, right? Okay. And Lee, Time Away, and Fake Love. Nice, nice, nice. So, Mikhail, I know you personally, but for persons who are unfamiliar with Mikhail Tesha, introduce yourself and let me dive straight into your catalogue. Um, Mikhail Teja, I am a songwriter, producer, artist, healing from the, the island of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, yeah, you know, we, we just, we do music, you know, that's it. It's a, it's a humility for me, it's a humility <laughs> for me, but I appreciate it because that's your natural personality, but, um, you have been doing a lot of great things. For, but I got on, I found out about you probably within the last, say, three to four years. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been in music? Um, well, recently I actually turned 25 on October 16th day. And it makes it actually a decade that I've been doing music. Wow. I started at the tender age of 15, you know, working with people like, you know, Casey Phillips and Destra, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Uh, so that's where, you know, it started on a professional level where I was getting paid to do music. Okay. What what was the the breakout point for you? What was like, what would you consider to be your, your breakout entry? Because you're saying 10 years. So what was that defining factor 10 years ago? Um, Personally or generally? Personally and professionally. Um, Professionally, I still haven't, still don't feel like I've, broken through as yet i feel like i'm there you know and you feel like you're still putting in the ten thousand hours <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah but that keeps me hungry and that keeps me awake and it keeps my my enthusiasm for the art form because you know i was just having a little small discussion there and you know not not not, not enough artists are releasing music and i think it's because not all of them care a lot of them don't care you know mm -hmm. care a lot about music you think it has to do with the hype and the pandemic somewhat kind of differentiated those who really genuinely love it for the artistry or those who are waiting for things to normalize so they could fall back into the pattern of the hype and the popularity? I wouldn't go into all that science, but I'll just say that there are artists and then there are entertainers. So if there's not... How would you differentiate those two? An artist is somebody who creates... An entertainer is somebody who entertains now. Okay. So let's dive into music, the musical side of things. So when I was introduced to you, it wasn't Soka, right? Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the song. All I know, it reminded me of Malik Berry type of Afrobeat. Cool. Um, yes! That was that was my introduction. And I was like, yo, my type of style. Because back then I was heavily into the Afrobeat now. So to get like a Trini doing it so international, I was sold. Completely sold. 
-hmm. And then as I get in, so instead of following the catalog, you do this this switch to soccer, which I appreciate it still, but was that like intentional or do you not try to put yourself in box when it comes to genres of music? I am uh you see, because uh, I have a very wide palette of music now and mm -hmm. it's like I hate and it, it it is it is crazy in this time now where people try to like just box you and say, Well, you must be this or you must be that. Like I don't even identify myself as like a a soca artist. I could call oh. myself like a a Calypsonian. Hear why? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> For me it's like about I am like you 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 You've never probably you've never heard a, a, a Tejo song saying, "Put your hand in the air, it's carnival time, jump yeah. up," like, and that's what they associate soca with now. Yeah. That's why I think for me it's been a slower than usual process to break in the market because I am not going to do things based on their standards. They're gonna wanna yeah. take, sing a song to mash up the fat boy and you. And then next year, they sing two more songs to mash up the fret. And then a year after, they sing more. You know what I mean? So I actually, yeah. so I actually want to hit you. I actually want to talk about things that you're actually going through. And that is how songs like Horn and First and, and Birthday and Bumper Murder. And that's how these songs... And Want. Want. <laughs> yeah. Those, that's how those songs... I, I bend a little bit. You know, look, I'm wrong. Because I know at the end of the day, Trinidad, the Trinidadian mindset isn't really about consciousness it's more mm -hmm. about enjoyment how could i enjoy myself mm -hmm. but i think you and this new era of um artists coming up has found a creative way to merge the entertainment with the positivity and the consciousness and still insert those um what? like you know the little touches on, on of it in the music in terms of like the lyrics that sometimes you might fall in love with a song you're singing it and then it's after a while it hits you what the person really said. You know, and you realize the depth of yeah. what is being said, you know? And I think like it works. Mm -hmm. I think especially in this this time, you don't need to always lean towards the trend or what's popular or what, like you say, the jump and wave dynamic. Like you could really have good lyrical content with a hit, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. definitely. And I think um and I think voice has has proven that um I think people like Jimmy October. I think people like Kutin prove that. Mm -hmm. I think people like Annalie Prime prove that. You know, I think people like Ufan as well. Second Star Pretty. I think all of them prove that now. But at the same time, there are still people clinging on to what was. Because, and it's something, I can't remember where I read or saw this, but they were saying that people are so caught up on the past. So it's like, they're so caught up and held onto the past that they're not allowing the present to create a new past. So hence yeah. why we, if we create something, we will always go back to some nostalgic place of the past and not mm -hmm. create a new nostalgic present. Why do you think that is, though? Because I feel like people on the whole resist change. Even if the change is good for you, you're still putting up resistance to change. Why do you think that is? I think people are us, people are, and I too, I too, still a little afraid. I'm not afraid to say that. Mm -hmm. still afraid of the unknown, and the unknown is the future. And I think we we in a generation as well to that afraid of risk. Yeah. We we expect that every step we take going, is secure. going to be hey, once I step here and you know, and, yeah. and it, it goes back to even the, 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 the whole notion of what people say now, know your worth and this, that, that. Sometimes worth is like stock. Sometimes your stock will rise and your stock will mm -hmm. fall. Sometimes your stock might be at one level for some time that's life and i think you can't you have to take risk risk is inevitable and mm -hmm. it's afraid of taking risk which is not a good thing and i have to kind of beat myself out of that now pause
would say, right? And, and I, I use the past to kind of help me push, okay. right? Every time I have just let go, like, let go, it, it, it just, life's, life is, so a friend of mine, a bedroom of mine, a brother, actually a brother to me, right? We have a saying where dots connect. And that's life. Life, every step, every move is a dot. And it connects. You just can't see when it connect and we we are we are so much of control freaks that we want to control life. You can't you just have to sort of let go. Mm -hmm. like go yeah. But 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 what what I have been a bit scared of in the letting go of things, I don't wanna get complacent where everything is let me let go, <laughs> let me just let go. Like I don't wanna be so focused on that side that I get lazy, if you understand what I'm saying. I understand. There's a very thin line, though, and the thin line is being prepared. So, okay. okay. I may be working on a song, and I can't get this chorus correct. I let go, but that don't mean okay. I stop the music. I could probably go and work on other music. I'm gonna work yeah, on yeah. And then... So, oh, so you let go, but you still stay focused yeah, on I, what you're trying to do. Okay. I, I, I get that. I can, let, I can let, really applaud that. Letting go does not mean you stop walking. You know, letting go just means you're resting this bag down here. When I'm ready for you, I'll come back. You just, oh, okay. just keep walking. That's that's really good advice, Michael. Drop in the, Michael, drop in the arm, um, the gems. <laughs> you ever thought about like doing a podcast or something? I know you all had the live. What's what's going on with the live? I haven't seen you guys in a bit. Um, we just as you could see, it's like a new space. So I've just been setting up this new studio space. So we're gonna come back, but in a in some time. Yeah, what I would say is November is a new month. So <laughs> all right, cool. And and any plans for like a podcast, a package this thing, and and make it something bigger? Um, to be honest with you, I um I'm not really the social media type. I it social <laughs> is very hard because. I'm an in-person kind of person. I like connect better in person. So like just putting the phone here and the stand and like Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's kinda it's <laughs> it's still weird for me now. So it's something that I'm still kinda getting accustomed to. So oh, okay. So yeah, but probably probably thought about hiring somebody to do the social media for you so you could focus on stuff. With with what and who money? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, in the future, it doesn't have to be now. It doesn't have to be now. Because, but I know like you have some artists who want to, who they good with the artist side of things, but the management and the marketing and all these different things is like, it takes a lot now. So that's where they build the team and the team comes into play. Right. No, well, well, fortunately and unfortunately, I have been one of those artists who kind of, like, I don't know how other artists do it, right? But mm -hmm. I'm so accustomed to writing your song, producing your song, being involved in the mix, like, hey, Kevin, I feel this could drop some more. Being involved in the artwork, yo, I do like that text, I do like that font, right? So it's like management for me has been a little a little tough, a little tough. Because um, it's like, I think, especially an artist on my level, I think everybody looks for the not saying the present management that I have right like that right, but just saying in general, like everybody is looking for like the the finished package. Nobody wants to help build there. They just want to see you up there. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think I think somewhere along the line, I don't know if it was just like times changing, but it it stepped away from as you say the person's coming in and really like putting in the work with you to take you to the next level now everybody just want the ready-made product and let me just go out there and market you you know actually hey big up big up sando <laughs> sando represent right actually what i would say is this i think everybody wants to be the star now and yeah right everybody wants to be the star and the beautiful thing with me is I have helped made stars. I've helped 
So I understand that, listen, not in every capacity, you cannot be the star. Yeah. Like even managers, like a manager might be managing an artist and the manager coming and, you know, want to be seen too, no? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> you say that and, and somebody pop in my head, but I wouldn't say nothing. <laughs> um, yeah, and, <laughs> I have nothing to say. Um, so, so, so for artists who might, as I touch on, helping build artists, which you have done and continue to do, um, but is it hard juggling the producing side of Mikhail and the artist side of Mikhail? Always, always, always. But again, Life have a way of blessing you back now because the more like I help like people and, 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 and mm -hmm. other artists is like the more sometimes those artists are the artists to help you, yeah? but I help yeah. somebody come and help me and I just, just see the cycle of life now. I learned that recently. Sometimes if you do something for somebody looking back for it in this direction and it might be coming around the corner in a way that you don't even recognize. Again, that's being in a state of flow. What's going on in my comments, you guys? <laughs> a whole rap city thing going on there. Sando, I see in free quotes. <laughs> big up, big up. Lad. Nice. So, 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 are you is are you like um, when artists could reach out to you to to work with you, or you're intentional and selective with who you want to connect with? I wouldn't say intentional, but I am selective. Like, you know. I understand, yes, bro, you know, artists might say, I really like his vibe, I feel like whatever was the case. But, you know, I have a lot going on. So if, like, mm -hmm. time I have time, and if I do have time, like, please respect that. And I feel like sometimes artists kind of feel like, you know, if I hit you up, like, you ought to do this for me. Or, like, just have a little respect for people's time. Because if I message someone and I say, hey, I want this done, you know, I have to respect their time. I have to respect that. All right. You know, they go you know what, what that is? You know what it is? It's like um, people don't leave the choice factor in. Like they, they, they feel like that's by asking you to do something or for something. And it's the same as everybody. But they automatically think that your response is going to be yes. Mm -hmm. So when you do say no, it's like they wasn't expecting the no. And they don't know how to receive it. But it's like I think I was reading a book and they said, if you ask somebody something and you and somebody think that they have to say it, is it really a question or a demand? Yeah. You know? Or, or are you feeling in some level of entitlement that is just expected? Well, you know? So I think like... Uh-huh. No, no. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I, I think just like in, in even if you reach out to somebody mm -hmm. and ask them, let's have in your brain that it could go yes and it can go no. Yeah. And also be okay with that and also don't take the no personal. Because you know, mine didn't have nothing to do with me wanting to do it for you. It's just really my plate right now full. I can't get to that right now. That's the time and bad. But some people also say when you think you say no, they take it as a personal attack, and then all of a sudden we have beef. <laughs> yeah. You know, so it's yeah. like it's not personal, but it doesn't know what people are dealing with. With certain um, sometimes it hit them up for something, and they really just can't add that to whatever they have going on. But it's not. It's not we have beef. It's you have beef. <laughs> that on a slow stove. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, no, you you you're very right, you know. You're very right. And again, it's just about respecting and it is something uh, I had like a real deep conversation the other day about that. Like we all going through our human experience now, and it's just just understand that. Just understand that people people going through stuff and it's not about you. Like the, you you are the center for you, but you are not the center of the world. Yes. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's deep. Cool. Well, I I I don't want to end the conversation, but we have to end the conversation, and that's why I like to talk that talk to you because I, I like to hear your thoughts and stuff, and I just like the the information, and especially some of you chatting with Jay as well. I saw Jay was on the live. Mm -hmm. I like people who have who take time to really think and assess stuff and could give you like an opinion or teach you something just like by interacting with them. You must leave that conversation or that interaction knowing something else or thinking about something on a different wavelength. So I do always appreciate those interactions. Because 
But sometimes I feel like, what are you talking about, boy? <laughs> but no, I'm glad because I, I honestly try to, try to, any information I get, because I, I use much, much older people. And mm -hmm. I, I am like a sponge around them now. So, you know, information that they share with me and that help me along my path. Like I believe information should be free because the information I get, you know, that doesn't mean you would apply it the same. You might apply it differently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. So I don't want to end without touching on music. So tell us about the new music, what you have coming, what you could let out of the bag, any collabs, what's, what's taking place. Share stuff, share stuff. Um, so, but right about now, we have Time Away is out now. Time Away. It's, it's honestly a song that I just I dropped. I just wanted to put it out and just give it to you guys. Um, I didn't do too much promo and too much. I mm -hmm. uh, I you know, I would do. Um, so time always out now, but we we doing some stuff for that. So you're gonna is a is a building kind of tune. Uh, okay. Have three rhythms in the in the in the in the pipeline there we're working on right now. Um, okay. So you know, just kind of give. Uh, of course, it may not be a carnival, carnival, but um, you know, it's it's still we still trying. To <laughs> idiot. Jay wants to have a new tune. Jay, Jay dropping music there. <laughs> Big up the app. We're looking forward to it, Jay. A new artist on the scene. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Um, um, hmm, I wonder what, if it have anything particular that I want to ask. I feel like you're like very transparent and open with everything. You, you, when you put on music, right? Because I noticed like some of your music have become a thread of really empowering ladies. Is that intentional or is just something that happens organically? <laughs> Now that's very intense. So, all right, we live in an age and time where is galia pussy tie, cock it up, <laughs> um, oh, I want dig it out, and yeah, yeah. And I just feel like, and don't get me wrong, I understand that some women feel empowered by that, but you know, I I, I have like younger cousins and nieces and and stuff like that, and I just feel like. That's, I, I, I kind of want to give them something that they can hold on to that isn't that level, that kind of empowerment now. Like, yeah. Like, there's empowerment and then there's affirmation. Yeah. You know, something could power you, but that don't mean, I don't mean it, it, it you know, it going to lead you there. So, you know, if, if like, you know, you're something tight empowering you, it empowering you for the right or the wrong thing. You know, yeah. I, I yeah. personally know the effects that music has, and I just don't want to be an artist who aware, like I am aware of it. So if I'm aware of it and still doing it, that makes it even that makes it horrible. Yeah, yeah. I try to like you know, not. I was still gear, you know, little you know, little sauce something and you know, I. A steam. A steam. You got your follow steam every now and then. But I would not do it in a disrespectful way, now. Yeah, like my toots and Mabel. I Yo, when I heard that line, I was like, no, you like no, like who would even take to put to connect that in a song? <laughs> like I don't reach out to these people for some kind of endorsement because when you ever heard my toots and label in a normal track? Yeah, I feel like we had to do a little. A little well, weird enough, I think some of them, some of like the actual family members of like Matooks actually hit me up. Eh? Yeah, yeah it, 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 it's unheard of. Like, it's not brands you would hear referenced in a song. I was like, this is creativity. That's local brands, and that's why I did it too. Because, like, you know, if you ever use ketchup, you see that Matooks and Mabel it have an extra thickness, extra. Yeah, yeah. We know, we know, we know, um, in saying other brand names, but we know who we're referring to in the comparison factor. <laughs> it does be thicker. Yeah, it does, it does. But, and it's our own, it's homegrown, you know? So I was like, yo, that, it, it's different, it's different. No, be, that, that hit you randomly, or oh, it was something intentional, like you was in the kitchen one day, because we know you like to bubble up or two, eh? <laughs> Michael is bubble, <laughs> bubble and pot. 
No, so, you know, you know, pulling inspiration from from the kitchen ingredients. <laughs> no, and that's why, like, for me, it come from an angle of, you know, just like this is this is like local brands that I personally find are better. Yeah. So, I like this. I like this. I like this. I feel like this could is a local energy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. Kind of. Yeah. Like. Well, we're looking forward to hearing or seeing Nima Tooks and Mabel and Peter and yours truly. You know? Yours truly. <laughs> Most definitely. <laughs> Increase the market share. Put them back in the, in the mix on a, on a larger scale. Yeah, yeah. That, that other, the other game our contract, man. I rep anything out here, man. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So let's tell persons where they can find you. I know you're across everything, the streaming platform. Is it Mikhail Tejan? Everything? Yeah, so it's Mikhail Tejan on every platform. So if you oh, guys head across the link in bio and connect with us at Caribbean Entertainment Hub, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you're not following us already, head across our YouTube channel and check out our coverage of events. And be sure to hit us up if you're interested in getting featured. Definitely slide in the DMs and let us know what's going on. I am Nisi. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bye, Mikhail. I have a good one, guys.